Praise be Jesus Christ, dear lovers of the Word of God, welcome to Anbin Heath. Today, the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Jesus is inviting us to be aware of the reality to which one is being sent. Abundant harvest in contrast to the few laborers. May we listen to Father Ryan Janel Salvation as he nourishes us with the Word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, the Lord appointed seventy-two others, whom He sent ahead of Him in pairs. To every town and place He intended to visit, He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him, but if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The seventy-two returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord Dear brothers and sisters, a blessed Sunday to all of you. In our Gospel for today, we are told that the Lord sent the 72 disciples to their mission of proclaiming the good news. And with that mission, the Lord has entrusted to them the task of proclaiming the gospel to the people. They were been sent ahead to the different towns so that when the Lord comes to those places, the people will be prepared to receive the Lord. And uh, the Lord was also telling the 72 disciples that uh, in all of these things that they are doing, they are doing it in His name. And He is giving them the necessary graces in order for them to do their mission. All they have to do is to obey the command and to fulfill the mission that was entrusted to them. That uh, he even told them that the first task that they have to do is to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send more laborers to the harvest, to send more workers that will help in spreading the good news. In other words, the mission to proclaim the gospel is really the work of God. We are just His instruments. All we have to do is to cooperate to Him and to pray very hard that in all of these things, it is the Lord who will conquer. It is the Lord who will be victorious. More often than not, it is one of the complaints today in the church 
there is a lack of uh, vocation or there is a decrease of uh, people who are entering seminary life or the religious life. Well, this reality should not discourage us because at the end of the day, it is the Lord who calls. All we have to do is simply to allow ourselves to become His instruments of proclaiming the good news. And God will make a way in order for people to answer His call. And He will never allow His church to be, you know, to be lacking in ministers, in people who will be serving Him. That in all of these things, the Lord will always be there and He will never allow the church to suffer things that will not be that will be beyond her capacity that's why in our task as missionaries as witnesses of the gospel we simply have to entrust everything to the lord knowing that in all of these things we will only be fruitful we will be only be successful in our task of being proclaimers of the gospel if we remain in the Lord in prayer that all of these things will be possible because we pray because we are united with the Lord like the 72 disciples that he sent to the different towns to the different places to proclaim his word amen the Lord be with you and may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, awaken in us an unwavering commitment to the Christian mission. Amen. Thank you very much, Father Ryan. Every day we are invited by the Lord to announce the gospel to those close to us in the house and to all persons around us. Do we assume a poor essential style in witnessing our identity as a Christian? Let us be aware that the success of our witness does not depend on our individual capacity, but only on the Lord who asked us and according to our availability to respond. Sisters and brothers, if you want to request for prayers, message us at www.facebook.com. Valence Media Center, Tacloban Slash. May God bless us all.